Hi everyone, my name is Warby. I'm a Technical Marketing Engineering Manager with Palo Alto Networks, and I want to talk today about our integration with both public and private cloud, uh, specifically the hybrid cloud use case and how we can integrate with Azure Public Cloud. Okay, so let's start with the private data center, the private cloud piece of the, the hybrid cloud solution. So typically we're gonna have a pair of firewalls for HA, securing the perimeter of this private data center. And in this data center, we're going to deploy a web application as an example. So I'm going to have a couple of web servers where the application runs. I'm going to put a load balancer in front of it, and we'll put a database behind it. We're going to manage everything with Panorama. And we're going to have, as well, a off-site corporate headquarters that connects to this uh, data center securely. And we'll show a couple users in our corporate location. and we'll protect it with some firewalls as well. Now we want connectivity for these users back to our data center where the application hosts. So we're gonna add some VPNs or IPsec tunnels. So at this point we have our data center, we've tied in our corporate headquarters. Uh, employees can access the application. We're gonna use app ID to whitelist the applications that are allowed into the data center. We will also use user ID so that, for example, IT gets a specific set of applications for managing this data center. And we'll, we're going to have our advanced threat prevention turned on, things like wildfire. Um, in this example, though, this application has grown in scale and we've outgrown the data center. We know we're going to need more hardware to continue to scale the application, uh, either it's temporarily for a cycle like an end of quarter or end of fiscal year kind of analysis, or it could just be that this thing is growing to the point where we want to leverage the public cloud to achieve the scale that we need dynamically. So in this specific case, we're going to solve that using uh, Microsoft Azure. So what we'll have here is a region within the Azure deployment, and we're going to have a VNet within that region. So now we can deploy additional resources for application in this location. So I'm going to add a web server and a database server. But we need to secure this environment, so I'm going to add a couple of virtual firewalls, uh, two for redundancy, and I'm going to tie them into the private data center using IPsec tunnels again. So now, when the users access the application, they still come to the load balancer in this case, but the load balancer is configured to use web server uh, to handle the request both within the data center but also in the public cloud. And we can continue to grow that deployment in the public cloud. And we're doing the same with the database tier. So when, for example, the traffic is flowing between this web server and this database server, it can be secured locally with the virtual firewall here in the Azure public cloud but also between the public cloud and the private cloud, we have points of inspection and points of protection as well. So this is our complete solution for hybrid cloud security. You can go to our product marketing page for more information all about this and other use cases with uh, Azure and other public clouds as well. Thank you.